<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, a.k.a. Brother Lou Jr., formerly known as the Wretched Knucklehead, my brother says. Turn our Bibles to Ezra chapter 3. We'll be looking at verses 10, 11, 12, and 13. And it reads, And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priest in their apparel with trumpets, and the Levites, the son of Asaph, with cymbals, to praise the Lord, after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endures forever towards Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and the Levites and the chief of the fathers who were ancient men that had seen the first house when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes wept with a loud voice and many shouted aloud for joy so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people for the people shouted with a loud shout and the noise was heard afar off. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our reverse this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in the book of Ezra, chapter one opens up where the the, the the preaching of a gospel grace preacher of the Old Testament, Jeremiah, is coming to pass. We're talking about like the king is going to, after 70 years when the people of God are in captivity and they're going to go back to, to the land of their origin, how that king is going to be in favor for them. You know, and, and he was, he, this this king loved God's people and, and he took care of them. And, and so on that journey back, to, to their land, he, he gave them gold, silver, precious stones, wood, materials, e everything and anything that they needed, the, the, the people of God. So that's basically uh, Ezra chapter 1. And then Ezra chapter 2 is just all the people of God who are going back from being in captivity for 70 years, all of them. And, and, and Ezra just kind of uh, gives who, who's going back. Then, as of chapter three, it, it talks about when, when they when they reached uh, the, the the land, God's people, and and and, and you know the, the, the walls are built, and, and that's mentioned by by Governor um, Nehemiah in his uh, uh, letter, the book of Nehemiah, and and, and then the, the the people of God are building altars and 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 and, and they're worshiping and honoring Jehovah God. And, and and it's it's, it's such a, a tender moment. And if we pick that up in verse 10, where it says, And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priest in their power. So the high priest, Ezra being a high priest, getting dressed up in their priestly attire with trumpets, musical instruments, and the Levites and the sons of Asaph with cymbals. So they had musical instruments and and, 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 and to praise the Lord after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. So now they're, they're doing it like back in the old days, how how David, because David, he, he praised the Lord. And, and so they, they were um, imitating, they were um, um, emulating the way that uh, King David had praised the Lord with, with, with musical instruments, cymbals and trumpets. The, the high priest had the trumpets and, and the, the high priest had the, the, the cymbals and, and, and making a joyful noise. And verse 11 of Ezra chapter 3, it says, And they sang together in course, in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endures forever towards Israel. And so they, they, they sang together, praising the Lord. You know, in um, Ephesians chapter 5, we see the Apostle Paul speaking about being filled with the Holy Spirit. And, and watch this, speaking to yourselves together and uh, uh, speaking to yourself together in, in psalms in hymns in spiritual songs singing and making uh, uh, making melodies in your hearts unto the lord and singing and making melodies of heart to the lord is uh, is is where god's people is communicating is conveying 
a, a, a wide range of emotions, whether it be praising the Lord, joy, mourning, grieving, uh, 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 um, um, and, and even uh, telling a story in, 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 in the singing and making melodies in your heart unto the Lord. And remember, this is the year 2022, 2022 being teachable. Teach me, O Lord, teach me. Where we see in, in Psalms chapter 25, David, he, he, he writes, um, show me thy way, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me to thy truth, O Lord. Teach me, for you're the God of my salvation, and I will wait on you all the day long. And speaking to, to, to yourselves in, in, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and, and, and making melodies unto your heart, communicating that to the Lord. And this is what the people were doing. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord because he is good and for his mercy endures forever towards Israel. And all the people shout with a great shout because they praised the Lord because of the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. And then, then there's an emotional moment that comes in verse 12. But many of the priests and the Levites, chiefs of the fathers, the the the, the ones who 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 saw the first uh, 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 temple of Solomon, you know, back in the days. But then when 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 God's people were being captured, that temple was destroyed. And, 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 and now, now, 70 years later, these same people who saw the temple destroyed, they're seeing now the the foundation. Uh, being laid for the new uh, 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 temple, and 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 their emotions overwhelmed them because watch this: that they had seen the first house, the the, the temple of, uh, of Solomon, when the foundation of this house mm, was laid before their eyes. They got emotional and wept with a loud voice. While the praising was going on, wide range of emotions, singing, praising, in uh, 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 joy, and in and, 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 and praise, and, and there was mourning, and there was grief, and, 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 and they were just overwhelmed, the, the, those who saw the, 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 the first temple and, and saw the destruction of, the, of that first temple, and now the, a new temple is being built. They're seeing what the, the Lord is doing, and it's overwhelming. Their, their emotions are being overwhelmed, and with wet with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud with joy. And, and so you had this mention of, 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 of just thinking about the old days and, and, and they were just overwhelmed and thinking of the new days and then shouting for joy. Where it says, so that the people could not discern the noise of the shouts of joy from the noise of the weeping. And this weeping is just the weeping of the, the memory and then seeing what they see but before their eyes of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout and the noise was heard afar off, was, was, was heard miles and miles away. And there was one who was hearing that. And that was our Lord and Savior and sooner coming King Jesus Christ. So when we praise the Lord. <laughs> what a rage of emotion. God is glorified. You are edified. And praise the Lord. The kingdom of darkness is nullified. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up you, Scott. You. May the Lord give you peace. And I commend you all to God and in the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who sanctify. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from all and present you for is in the presence of his glory, for glory, Majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. God bless. Agape love.